Hello everyone, welcome to in 5 minutes. In this video we are going to see the next type of miscellaneous problem of beta and gamma function. So this is our question. So we have to show that this integration is equivalent to this term. So but if you observe this integration, we have the limits of integration from 1 to infinity, but we do not have any beta function whose limits are from 1 to infinity. So we have beta of m comma n equivalent to integration of 0 to infinity x raised to m minus 1 upon 1 plus x the whole raised to n m plus n into dx so we have this integration but we do not have the limits from 1 to infinity and all these terms are exactly similar okay so what we are going to do we need our integration from 0 to infinity but here we are given 1 to infinity so this equation is very complex it might seem to be very complex but if you see we want limit from 0 to infinity here we are going to use one property of integration that is if we have some term p and plus p this p has limits from 1 to infinity and this p has limits from 0 to 1 that is this p is from 0 to 1 okay and this p is going from 1 to infinity and we can combine this to integration as one single integration whose limit will be from 0 to infinity okay so here if you see we have the second term that is 1 to infinity term we have it okay but we want 0 to 1 term so we have to make this limits from 0 to 1 so what we are going to do so we know that 1 upon infinity is 0 okay because we want 0 here we already have 1 so we want 0 so 1 upon infinity will be 0 so here we are going to do one substitution that is x will be 1 upon t okay so dx will be minus 1 upon t square dt our limits of integration will be here we write initial variable is x new variable is t x is from 1 to infinity when we put x equal to 1 here we get t also equal to 1 when we put x equal to infinity here we get t equal to 0 so we are also achieving this limit okay so let's say we call this integration equal to i then this i will become integration of 1 to 0 x is nothing but 1 upon t so 1 upon t the whole raised to n upon 2 minus 1 upon x plus 1 x is 1 upon t plus 1 the whole raised to n into dx dx is minus 1 upon t square dt so but we want limits from 0 to 1 so we will take this minus sign inside the integration so when we take this minus sign inside the integration our limits will be 0 to 1 one so we have achieved our limit from 0 to 1 but we want our equation in this format only okay so we have our equation as 1 by t the whole raised to n upon 2 minus 1 so this term will be 1 upon t raised to n upon 2 minus 1 into t square that is plus 2 into this term if we take this ratio if if i cross multiply this it will be 1 plus t the whole raised to t upon n so this will be 1 plus t the whole raised to n upon t raised to n 1 plus t the whole raised to n is in the denominator and this t raised to n will go in the numerator into dt then we have t raised to n and we have t raised to n by 2 minus 1 plus 2 denominator will be t raised to n by 2 plus 1 and when this term is in the denominator when it goes in the numerator we, numerator it will be n t raised to n minus n by 2 minus 1 okay so n minus n by 2 is nothing but n by 2 minus 1 so this numerator is nothing but t raised to n by 2 minus 1 upon 1 plus t the whole raised to n into dt and integration is from 0 to 1 